Sure. So, so, gone, so you're talking about marital rape. Marital rape, that, that's, so that's an interesting dichotomy because, okay, I, 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 it makes sense. Like, okay, if she's sick or whatnot, there's, like, there, there, are, there are clauses. You, you know, most dudes aren't going to be, like, complete jerks. But if you have people who are weaponizing it, and, you know, Sheikh Amr and I, we talk, you know, you, you, you know, in your line of work, you tell me about the situation, you come across where some, like, women are just going, like, I, I like, for example, I had a friend, I remember, like, he's a physician, okay? When he was doing his, um like, residency, his wife was, like, giving him, like, blocking him off for, like, two, three months at a time. You know what I mean? And at work, he was, like, dealing with these nurses who were, like, freaks. You know, they were inviting him. They were, they were telling him they, he'd go to work on Monday and be like, they'd be like, yeah, we had an orgy. This is Jackson Park. You no, know? by the way, uh, they say a study came out. Nurses are the most uh, yeah. um, promiscuous really? professions. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So They're dangerous. You, 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 Horses you, you, are trained. You, you're basically a resident, you know, in this hospital with all these freaks. And your wife is, like, like holding out in the bed for three months, right? So, like, now if he forced himself upon his wife, he's, like, like, like he's at, you know, um, you, you hear Mashiach say this, right? Brothers, when you see a woman like out in the lower your gaze because and just know your wife has that. So, y- you uh, you worked a long day and you, and you finna go home and you like you, you, you're trying to get some and she just closes off and let's say you forced yourself upon her. Now, because in in the way our legal system would define it, that would be like rape, marital rape. But like, I, I I'm uncomfortable. Sharia is what well. no, well. we don't do that. I don't. Correct me if I'm wrong, Sharia. I'm a but the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "La darar wala dirar." That do not harm or don't return harm. So, yes. if we're not allowed to harm um, non combat you can't harm your wife. Rape is a form of sexual violence. I know people have issues with the term like marital rape. That how can you rape your wife? But yes, you can rape your wife. And I don't think. I think we need to be very clear with this. And this is even when Sheikh Ahmed in the beginning was speaking about understanding fit and ahkam and rulings. Another thing which is important to understand adab as well, like etiquette. And it's things that as a man in your right frame, if your wife doesn't want to have sex with you, okay, you need to sort that out. But to force yourself on her, that is something that I don't think, like, you should never do that. And so I'm not going to try and, I know there's some people that said, oh, it doesn't, in our legal text, it doesn't mention like consent and things like that. But if you are a self-respecting man, a Muslim, you would you shouldn't do that. It's a, it's a sin as far as I'm concerned from the scholars that I've heard of. And I'm not going to try and like, you know, I just think that we need to kind of be quite clear with that. You need to sort out with your wife. Yeah. But in terms of forcing someone out under no circumstances, you should you ever do that. I'm, I'm going to be honest too. I think I think at a, at, a, at a human level too, right? I don't know. I mean, this could just be me, but I don't want to have sex with somebody who doesn't want to have sex with me. Yeah. Like at that moment, right? It's just very weird, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like you know, I don't know. For me, it's but, just not. But we're a talking cool about situation thing. where, like, systemically over time, like they're like talking like, three boy. Yeah, months but then I would rough. be thinking about a divorce. I mean, if you if you try, I, I have a conversation and be like, I hey, you. either you got to fix it or you know something's not right here because. Ooh. You know what I mean? Like you have to talk about it, but I mean, I, can't, I still couldn't fathom that of forcing myself onto somebody and saying you're gonna take it. Like it just, and you know like, it's, it's like forcing someone to hang out with you. Like if you don't want to be here, don't be here. You know what I mean? You know, like, I'm glad you. I'm glad you said that. Sorry to bite him, but I'm glad you said that. I mean, I think that plays into because that's your character. Mm-hmm. Like someone can tell you, like it's, you don't need to study fit for that. That's your character. Yeah. Like you said, if if, if if a woman doesn't want to have sex with you, you're not gonna have sex with her. Yeah. But unfortunately, some men, the way they read these historic books of FIP and things like that is do I have a like even if someone's asking that question I'm I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what's your personality like yeah. how would you want to have a woman have sex with a woman who just clearly petrified clearly doesn't want it but True. you know it's my right if anything jack off go yeah. to the bathroom and honestly I'm, it's just something that is, is, is for me I just don't understand it because for and if you think you're going to force yourself on your wife if you do that how do you think that's what do you think that's gonna to happen to the relationship after? That's my point too. Like in the long run, she's gonna be terrified. Long run, of you, it's like, right? It's uh, gonna be yeah. like, yo, you're gonna break down this marriage, right? I mean, because now she looks at someone who violated her. Yeah. Not no, someone I think, what, I think what Mahin is saying though is that she's capable of, but she's pur- purposely like let's call it weaponizing, right? Weaponizing and or... he happens to not be able to control himself and he just jumps on her and that's considered rape, right? Well, well I'm not saying he should do that. Right. I'm right. saying that that's from, that's something that Allah I mean, look from a technical people... point of view I was trying to get because I, I my understanding was that the nikah is the consent. Yes, of course it is. But right. but but to move past that, I think that's a common understanding, is that look, we have to understand that Allah tests us in many, many different ways. And some of those tests are by people oppressing us. In this situation, it would be oppressive for a wife to do that to her husband. Uh But nonetheless, 
people believe that just because I'm getting married and we did our marriage contract and I did istikhara before I got married, my marriage is going to be perfect. And I re- No, th- there's going to be tests along the way too. It doesn't mean it's okay what she's doing, mm-hmm. but that's something that you have to obviously get some type of counseling. You got to get some professionals involved. And if all else fails and she's going to continue that way, that's where Mort is saying that's grounds for divorce, even for a wife. Like if, 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 and this is full, Islamic texts are full of this. I'm not saying this to be wishy-washy. One of the conditions for divorce is for a woman, like asking for a divorce or a khula, is if the husband is not having sex with her and she wants to have sex. That's one of the, she can ask for a khula definitely in that situation and ask the judge he divorced me of this man because he just doesn't want to have sex with me, right? So it works both ways. So that's obviously the, 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 the later approach, right? Sure. But you have to, if, if you really love this woman and this is just a phase or whatever, you have to understand, hey man, you're gonna have to be patient here because this is just a part of it, you know? So I'm thinking like long-term too, I'm like, look, you know, we know there is like certain principles in the Sharia, right? For example, the nikah is consent, right? But you don't ever want to come to the reduce the marriage to just do's and don'ts yeah right sure. marriage is more than that yes, right sir. like it, it's about the longevity of the marriage right yes, if you simply reduce it to saying hey you know what you owe me that and i owe you this right and you're just keeping at that line if yep. you don't do that then yep. more, yeah if it's purely transactional there, it's 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 you're almost already mechanical you're, you're already lost right? yeah you're yeah, lost you're i mean lost. you're not gonna you, i mean the minute someone doesn't do something for you like it's just okay now now we got to go our own way right it's just there's really nothing to work on right yeah. and so uh, what i'm saying is I, i'm not saying it's not an issue i'm saying I, I agree it's an issue that a woman's withholding sex and weaponizing it i i totally agree with it but I would view this as the same way. Let's say she's on her period. Even no matter how horny you are, you can't have sex with her, yeah. right? It's just it's something you can't do, yeah. right? Same way, likewise. Hey, if she's not putting out, then she's not putting out. You have to find either th- therapy, or you need to just threaten her with a divorce, or go through the divorce, right? Right. But you have other ra- you have other avenues to rectify the situation besides jumping on her. 